Hi everybody, this is Devin Gregg. We are coming to you from um, a small little town in Midwestern Wisconsin, not too far from Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Um, if you are hopping on and you see the little red live button up in the corner, can you drop us a live? And if you are watching a replay, uh, hashtag replay please. So we are Kip's Keto Kitchen, hashtag Kip's Keto Kitchen. Um, we have a lot of fun in the kitchen. Hopefully you guys have seen us before. But um, so usually we try to make like a meal of some kind or give you some um, ideas on you know how to cook for the entire family. Well, I'm telling you, you're gonna love this one. These are like soft bake cookies. They're keto, chocolate chip, and they're soft. So we're gonna show you how to make those and then we will be sure and drop the recipe in our private keto group that we have. So if you guys are um, just hopping on, we are Deb and Greg. We are Kip's Keto Kitchen, hashtag Kip's Keto Kitchen. Um, can you let us know if you can see kind of our work surface here? Just give me a yes or a thumbs up or something. Um, we've had a couple comments in some of our last lives that, what? Well, I'm what? moving over so it gets in the screen. <laughs> Salt. We've, we've, Salt. Had, we've had people tell us that they can't see everything so um, one thing you can do is if you swipe the comments to the right on your screen you'll be able to um, see the the entire work service so the comments will take up half your screen get rid of those and just watch us so um, like I said we're gonna make chocolate chip cookies they are so yummy we've made these many many times um, when I was in Vegas in December I came home and this guy had made me chocolate chip cookies and I'm like mm, are they like the last ones because the last batch we had made were kind of dry you know they have that different taste these are delicious you really don't know that they're keto cookies so you can kind of sneak them into a family gathering and Didn't people are going to say where did these yummy cookies come from nobody will know the difference right so um if you are friends with us and you want the recipe um just drop the word recipe. We'll make sure we tell you how to find that. It will be in our private keto group, like I said, tomorrow. We um, keep all of them in there. It's an awesome resource group. There's no keto police in there. Nobody's counting your carbs or counting your macros for you. We're just coaching you on how to be successful in your keto journey. Um, Greg and I have been on this journey for almost a year already. We've done um, really well. I'll, I don't have the picture right here, but I'll go get our picture so you can see what we looked like when we started a year ago, and you'll kind of see the difference for us. So um, thank you all for hopping on. I'm gonna kind of turn this over to Greg because he, I've never made these. He does, all, he does I, I love to bake, I really do. I, I used to bake a lot, but um, he's kind of taken over my kitchen since he retired before me. So I'm gonna let him do that. I'm, huh, huh, baby. I, I'm more, more, <laughs> more of a senior citizen than she is. Okay, these are really great cookies, and I enjoy, you know, so. First of all, you start out with a uh, half a cup of butter, which is basically one stick. Mm -hmm. uh, basically one stick of butter. And you're gonna melt that. You can do it in a saucepan in the microwave. In the meantime, while that's going there, I have a, uh, Cup and a half of almond flour, which I'm going to put in. Uh, almond flour in the refrigerator. And the almond flour, once you open it up, is supposed to be kind of kept in the refrigerator. Then we're going to have a fourth a teaspoon of salt. I like to, when I get my dry stuff, I like to put it in there. And then we got a half a teaspoon of baking powder. I like to kind of mix that um, in with all before I put it in with the wet stuff. And then a half a teaspoon of, what was it called again? Xanthan. Xanthan gum. Um, and that goes in there. Okay, one, three are right there. Okay. Then we'll mix that up a little bit. I'll check my butter to see if that's melted enough. Okay, then we'll take the butter out. Let's see. Yeah, it's getting there. All right. And to that, we are going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. 
I mean, look at these guys. Look at the look at the center of this. How moist it is. That's um. You know, a lot of times when you're making cookies, they're not that nice and moist in the middle. But these are just delicious. As I stand here and eat while he bakes. I'm working here. Oh, sorry. Okay, there. Did you we'll tell him why you have to keep the almond flour in the refrigerator? No. <laughs> Do you and know then why? you put in one Do you egg. Know why? <laughs> put in one egg. Okay. That goes in there. You have to keep your almond flour in the refrigerator because it preserves the flavor. Oh, okay. All right, then I'll take and we'll whip this up. I'll mix the egg and the butter. Take a uh, three-quarter cup of sweetener here. It's not sugar. It's we use stevia, but you can use uh, whatever you prefer. So we're gonna mix that up. Get that all mixed up. Together, make sure it's well mixed. It says we gotta have it well mixed. So while he's mixing, I'll tell you this is what we looked like a year ago. So our keto journey has helped us with a lot of fat loss. Okay. And, and it's given us a lot of energy. Then we're gonna put in uh, dry ingredients. Put that in there. And we're going to mix this up. <clears throat> so you want to mix this thoroughly too. And this will be your dough, I guess you would call it your mixture for your dough. And it's, um, you want to get that well mixed. Uh, and then, after we get this mixed, see it's, it's, it's really quite easy. So if you ever get the urge for chocolate chip cookies some night, you can whip these up in a uh, little or no time. It takes about, like you say, I'm getting this done in about 10 minutes, and it, they cook for about 10 minutes, and they really are good when they come out of the oven. It's still a little bit warm. So. There you go. No. There. No. <laughs> Got a lump in there. I, I saw a lump of flour or something no. in there. No. No. You're seeing things. Okay. All right. Now that you get this all mixed up, and we went, we don't want to mix. Like the other night, we forgot the eggs in the in the pockets. Yeah. Well, it would be a darn shame if I forgot the doggone chocolate chips, which is three quarters of a cup. That goes in there. And and you're using sugar free. So sugar -free. Lily's Lily's yeah. makes a really good um, chocolate chip. We yeah. also have used like Giardello's. Right, Gia, is it Giardello? Yeah, yeah. We've used those in the past because they are they're um, low carb. They're low they're carb, but they're also almost pure cacao. So, and that's really what you want to look for. So, Annalise says um, mm -hmm. it's almost time for Valentine Day aprons. We were just talking about that today. We said we're going to have to get some new aprons, but you know what? We're still in Wisconsin, and it's what minus. Oh, it's chilly out there tonight, folks. It's one degrees right now, but it was minus eight when I got up this morning. So. And there it is. It's all mixed up. And then... Let me help you. I'm your assistant. You want to make the balls? <laughs> no. I'll, I'll let you do All know. right. So you take one of these. And uh, it says it makes 12, but... We got one that's this size and one that's bigger. So the bigger one would give you less. This will give you, basically, I think we've gotten uh, 16 or 16. something in here. So. so you put these on, and it says that they'll, um, if you put them in the oven and they don't kind of flatten out, halfway through you can kind of push them down with a fork. But I've had them where they've come out, you know, and they're, they're not flat like this. They're a little more uh, like a ball. Which they're just as good no matter how you want to make them. So. Oh my gosh, it's 81 degrees. Where in Florida? Oh my gosh. Oh, my sister lives down in Cooper, uh, Cooper City, City <laughs> between Fort Lauderdale and Miami, 
and she calls me all the time. And how's the weather up there? Cold. <laughs> it's we're in Wisconsin. <laughs> she says, "Come on down." I said, "Oh yeah, I will." So. So if you guys are um, looking for the recipe, like I said, we keep them all in the um, in our private keto group. So if we're not friends, send us send me a friend request, and I will make sure that I can get you invited into the group. Um, just send me a friend request, and then send me a message that says um, recipe, please, or something. Um, Facebook gets a little funny when I get too many friend requests, and then I respond back to you guys and then I kind of get put in Facebook jail so it works out really well if you guys send me the request and then just drop me a message quick that says recipe and we can get you invited but there's so many other resources in that group too it's not just um I mean we've got videos from some of our supporting doctors we've got I mean there's just all kinds of stuff in there so um. I should move Are over you so you can. Down yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to basically uh, flatten them a little bit, and then they'll come out because I tried this recipe before. Like I said, they come out. If you want them, uh, you know, about this big around and about that thick, um, you can just leave them. Uh, there's when you get the recipe, there's uh, they tell you if you have too much flour or not enough of stuff or whatever that they will be a little bit uh, more full. So, but I made some uh, earlier, and uh, I noticed that if I just pat them down just a little bit, they seem to come out just a little bit better as far as um, looking like they're supposed to. Of course, they'll still be just as good. And there we go. We go in the oven for 10 minutes, and we'll have uh, some more fresh uh, uh, cookies. I gotta see who's who's on here, what they're asking. Recipe, hi Kristen. Um, we will, if you want to send me a friend request and just um, send me a message that says recipe, I'll make sure that I get you into our private group where we keep all the recipes. Um, who else? Tiffany, hi. Um, yes, I'll make sure you get the recipe. Um, Judy is looking for the recipe. You guys, this is really, it really is super good. So like I said, if you are, if we are not friends, send me a friend request, and I'll make sure I get you invited into the group. Um, if you, um, let me know too, what stage of keto you're in, because we, like I said, we've been doing it for a year, some of you who are just hopping on. Here's our picture. This is what we looked like a year ago, and that was a year ago in December. And then we started in February, we started keto, the keto lifestyle, and it's been life-changing for us. We have better mood, better focus, better energy. Um, we have a little two-year-old grandson who comes and stays here with us on Mondays. And pretty soon his little sister's going to be coming. And she's going to be, what, 12 weeks maybe? Yep. About that age range. So we need lots of energy to keep up with those little buggers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Um, so you have anything else? No, I just, you know, like I said, we've been as keto and uh, we're having a, we always have an annual thrift sale in Elk Mound every year wherever you can go out there in the hotel. And I'm going to be getting a lot of 38 inch pants are going out the door because I'm down to 35 inch now. So I've lost the inches, I've lost pounds, I've got more energy, I got more focus. I said that life is great when you, when you, when you feel good, you got energy, life is wonderful. It is. Um, so, and that's one thing I want to tell people, if you're just starting out too, don't be discouraged in the beginning because um, I know it seems like it can be confusing and a little bit overwhelming. Just um, trust the process because our, our bodies kind of, they know what we need and when we take that glucose out of our system and we start feeding it the fats, they, it wants to run on the fat. and. Our cells run a lot better on that fat. We're seeing studies now where athletes are actually performing better running on a keto lifestyle. So, um, you know, don't give up. Just ask for help because yeah. there are a lot of people who are willing to help. We, we're so passionate about it that we really want to see people succeed. So. And you're not, and it doesn't happen overnight, over a period no, of time. It's not magic. You know, there's no, no. magic pill out there or magic anything for any kind of a diet. I mean, I've tried 
Oh my God, oh. how many have I tried? <laughs> and the thousands of dollars I've spent. Been there with her, everyone. Yes, yes. Um, you know, I would drink all the shakes and he would cook all the meals and we would, I would lose the weight and then as soon as I went off the program and said, okay, I'm not paying for that anymore, I would gain the weight back again. But this time around, it's truly a lifestyle change and we're pretty happy about it. So thank you so much everybody for hopping on. I just want to make sure I catch a few more people here. Um, hi Debbie. Yes. Okay. You sent both. Thank you so much. Stephanie. Hi Donna. Hi for hopping on. Um, and you guys, I want to tell you, thank you very much for taking some time out. I know everybody is so stinking busy and just to take a few minutes out, you know, on Tuesdays and Thursdays when we have our keto kitchen and join us and let us be ridiculous people in front of the camera and try to teach you something. We certainly appreciate it. Like I said, like Greg said, yeah, Tuesday dance, night. Yeah, Tuesday night. Snowman. Tuesday night we um, made the breakfast pockets. I scrambled up the eggs. They were beautiful because I put cheese and heavy whipping cream in them and we forgot to put them in. But we ate them for supper afterwards, so it was fine. So, we put them in two of them after supper. We did, food. yeah. Oh, that's Honey, that's honest because, I mean, that's great. She said she's been on it for two months and she lost 21 pounds. That's amazing. Wow. That is great. Great. So, Just great. Somebody I'm from Scotland. Love that. Yeah. So you guys all have a wonderful evening, whatever time it is where you are. It's certainly not evening anymore. It's probably morning. I don't know in Scotland. We're getting, we're getting <laughs> six to eight inches of snow here we tomorrow are. through Saturday. So. so we might get bored and hop on again this weekend just to show yeah. you. How to make some, I don't know, fat bombs or something? You guys snow like angels. fat bombs? No, we're snow not making snow angels. No, we're not making snow angels. No, I'm not, I'm not making snow angels. In the, no, maybe fat bombs. How about that? So, um, we love you guys. Thanks so much for hopping on, and we'll see you next Tuesday.